All right, guys, now that we've got our XT60 and our capacitor added here and everything looks good, what we want to do now is, and, and something that you may want to do, um, let me see if I have, let me see if I've got a multimeter I can use real quickly. Uh, let me go grab one. I think I've got one sitting over here. So something that is real useful, real helpful, and I'll tell you that I, I think this should become a standard practice for everybody. Uh, something that you want to do is you want to test the continuity right before you before you keep going because if your soldering hasn't been done right then you're gonna have a continuity error on your XC60 and this could cause some serious problems it happens to me every now and then um, when I just do something and I miss it so I always make this step to check right so I'm gonna turn my uh, meter on to the continuity setting um, and I know you've got a glare here I'll try to see if I can angle this in such a way to where it doesn't glare all right, well, it doesn't really matter. What you want, this is gonna be a sound uh, anyway. So I'm just gonna set this, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna touch the positive of the ground, right? So if you touch them, it beeps, that means there's continuity. You don't want that, okay? All right, so there it goes. Now, this is this beep, it would be beeping nonstop, see? When I touch it here, there's nothing. So I know that we're good at this point, okay? So far, so good. Just do that as a check, just a precaution. All right, let me go. And I guess I'll leave this here for the time being. Okay, good. Now that we're done with that, let's go to the next step. Okay, so now let's look at the wires here. And I'm gonna go over something with you that's online, but let me, let me kind of adjust my table, my bench here on the video. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to the I'm going to go to screen and we're going to go here and here. There we go. Okay. So on our website is this R Charlence that we're using. Okay. And if you were to type in R Charlence, you'd be able to find this here. This is the picture I'm interested in, but I want to blow this up so you can see it. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say open the image in the new tab. Okay. And we're going to look at this. Oh, well, I wanted to, I wanted to see this image. So let me, let me do this differently. Let me just click save image as. And I'll just save it and then open it. So let me go to my downloads and I'll save it right there. Okay. And I don't think that's going to help me either, but let's just see. Okay. So here's our image right here. There it is. Perfect. All right. So let's look at this image real quickly and let's look at our wiring harness. Now, in the event that your harness colors don't match, don't worry about it. Uh, it's the order that this goes. So if we flip our ESC over, right, with the, with the plug facing up, with this plug area here facing up, which basically puts our XT60 and our, our capacitor on, on the table. The wiring here is telling you, and here's your wiring harness, red is for the battery, orange for current sensor, black is for ground, there is no fourth cable, then the fifth cable white is for ESC1 or motor one, blue is ESC2, green is ESC3, and yellow is ESC4. We don't really care about, and we don't really know if those are right as far as they could be off, what have you. It doesn't matter as far as the motor one through four. That's what we're gonna test in beta flight. But what does matter is red, orange, and black. So here's what we're gonna do. So remember that pattern, write it down, do whatever you have to do. But remember that this is how this is gonna work. First thing is, you wanna look and see how this plugs in. And this is actually gonna plug in just like that. So your cable should plug in red, orange, black, and then white, blue, green, yellow. Okay, and it should look just like that. However, one thing we wanna do is we wanna remove the orange cable because we're not using a current sensor on this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this over and you're gonna have your tabs showing right here, right? And I'll zoom in on this now. So let me, let me do that real quick, hold on. So let's do this and just watch what we're gonna do here, okay? So we're gonna zoom in. Don't cut it, remove it, all right? So let's just zoom in like that. Let me grab that knife right there. So find something sharp, anything that you can, and just lift, it's the second tab, it's this tab right here. So lift this tab up, just like that, okay? And just a little bit more, there you go. And once it's lifted up, you should be able to grab the orange wire and cleanly pull it out, just like that, okay? Lay the piece back down and then just press the tabs back in. You just, just keep it back in, okay? And make sure none of the other tabs have come out. If they have, just press them all in, you're good. Perfect, so there you go. You've just removed the wire that we don't need and you've, a lot of people like to cut these and that becomes a serious problem if you have any exposed wiring that touches something. So what we're gonna do next is once we've removed that wire, 
These should be exactly the same. So let me just verify. Okay, once you've removed that wire, one thing I also, <laughs> one point I do want to also make clear is if you look at these plugs here, right? Keep in mind that there is a wider plug here. All right, this is the narrow plug. So if you put them side by side, or you lay them on top of each other, one is longer, just barely than the other. Okay, we are working on the longer one. So if you wanna check this out with a measurement, if you put this to here, you're gonna see that this measures at eight millimeters. And if you put this plug here, this one should measure probably at seven, and it measures at seven millimeters, or seven and a half. There is one that's significantly shorter than the other, so just line them up, because you are going to have to cut this, and you wanna make sure you cut the right one. So make the longer one, this one, the one that you put the wire out of, on this side, you can just cut this end off because we don't need it. So just cut it just like that and you're done. Okay. What you end up with is this wire that you don't need, this end that you don't need, and this perfectly prepared set here that you will be using to solder to the flight controller. All right. So have these ready and they're good to go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to plug this cable in just like that and you're all set. Okay. That's how this should look. From here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install it onto the flight control, or onto the, um, the uh, frame. So I'm gonna lay this down, put some of my tools away for the time being. Let me move these out of the way, keep my table somewhat clean. All right, one of the things I didn't show at the beginning when we did parts is you have a bag of screws and a bag of uh, spacers here that we included that did not come with either of these, any of the parts. These are from us because of the way this build is gonna be. What I want you to do is I want you to take the green 12 millimeter screw and put it through the first, any one of the uh, 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 standoffs here, any one of the spacers here, just put all four of them, okay? Just like this, all right? And turn it over. They should stay in place now. And then take your ESC with the XT60 facing the back of it, right? Hold it just like that. And these wires that are turned over, remember? facing the front and just place it down over those right there. Without tightening, the gap here is pretty much identical. The amount of space they give you is identical to the height of the plug. So it's actually gonna rest nicely just like this, all right? Okay, so you are now done prepping your ESC. The ESC is ready to go. We are going to tin these wires here and we're gonna do that next and we're gonna use these spacers in just a minute. But that's how you set up your ESC to get it ready for here, and that's how you get your plug ready. And again, remember that the plug that you're cutting off is the shorter plug. There are two sizes. Uh, the one that goes into the uh, ESC is longer. So you'll cut the shorter plug off, and you will safely remove the orange wire. Okay? That will take it for that step, and we'll be back now to show you how to prepare these to go onto the flight controller. So see you in just